It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's E-Commerce Minute, episode 222. Ooh. In today's episode, Shopify is opening brick and mortar store e-commerce shop builder shopify is opening a store according to a report by forbes the canadian company stated that it was opening the retail location in an undisclosed location in the u.s by the summer the physical store will be used as a location for shopify customers who are mostly small businesses to meet with shopify staff to to receive in-person advice and counseling to help build their business a spokesman for Shopify told Marketing Daily, we know that entrepreneurship can be lonely, isolating, and hard, so we wanted to create a hub where people can gather to find support, inspiration, and community. The store will also provide workshops for customers and will feature a showroom with Shopify hardware products from barcode scanners to cash drawers designed for business owners who also want to launch a physical store. Satish Kanwar, VP of Shopify, said to Forbes, we think this is exactly the right time to help small businesses figure out what's ahead in the turbulent retail environment today. Shopify currently powers over 600,000 businesses in approximately 175 countries. Good for them. Um, yeah, they're big. Um, they've been hammering like crazy with uh, what they do. It's kind of interesting they're going to open a store. I guess it's just. I, I think it's following sort of the Apple town hall. What do they call that? The town square yeah. concept where you. Um, cause Shopify does a lot of hardware stuff now with, with, so they have a, like a tap and chip reader and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I mean, they're trying, they're trying to do the whole thing, right? They're trying to have businesses use their stuff as, as an easier way to, to, especially on the boutique side right now, they're doing the plus side of the bigger things, but on the smaller side, this makes sense. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's neat because they're, they're basically saying to small e-commerce store owners, like come to this physical store. But if you look, um, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of e-commerce stores that transition to bricks and mortar. They do the bricks and clicks or whatever that catchphrase is. Um, so you get a small brand, they get a little bit bigger. Um, they could say, you know what, I'm, I'm going to open a store too. I mean, you, let's take a look at Warby Parker or Bonobos or uh, you know, Untuck It. Like the guys like that, like they're online stores that, that go into, um, you know, they open a retail store. Yep. And I think that Shopify is just positioning themselves in the right place because they offer the payment solutions. They, they want to be that whole one-stop shop for, you know, managing your whole business. Because you look at all the tools that Shopify has, all the marketing tools that they have, it's, you know, it's, Huge. if you're, if you're at that level, like you're not building a Magento store, you're not building something that's, that's custom. That's you're just really ginormous. Shopify is a no brainer. And, uh, you know, I think I, you, know, you look at this, I mean, this is a, just literally a, a branding and marketing exercise, but I think it's going to be a good resource and it's a shame that there's only going to be one of them. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, for now, I for now. Say, you know, I mean, technically if you look at it, I mean, Shopify always had, um, like in New York, there's a studio, uh, Shopify studio that you can apply to and you can hang out and, and do oh, right. kind of I stuff that. like that. So right. you know, that's part of it. I mean, for, for merchants, they're probably, that's why the store comes out. They probably build more, a lot of these things. So it depends where they are. Um, yeah, they didn't say where it was. So they probably haven't picked the, you know, the location. I'm going to just guess New York, or then I would probably say like Chicago or something something like that, just in the middle of the country. But it do- doesn't really matter where it is because it's only one of them. Um, but yeah, it would be interesting to see if they expanded on the concept because, you know, like we said, there's, there's 600 people, 600,000 people using Shopify. And if they have some sort of, uh, you know, other presence, um, to help grow their business, it, it can't hurt, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's neat. They're going to have workshops. So, like, again, it's, it's kind of following the Apple model, um, you know, to, to kind of become a hub for people who are into Shopify. Cause we know that people who are into Shopify are really into Shopify. Am I right? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Um, <laughs> and I think, didn't they have their uh, Shopify? Was it unite last week? They did. I didn't see any big announcements. I see, I'm looking at one press release. They had a bunch of stuff that they improved upon, but not like last year. Like last year, they That's introduced like a whole bunch of crazy stuff. stuff. Yeah. Like they had kit and they had the, the, the chip reader. Like they, they, they introduced the chip reader last year, but I don't think it came out till this year. 
I'm, yeah, I'm just they're just let's just keep on pushing on innovations. It's good. Yeah, I mean, look at the press release. There's a, there's a lot of stuff, um, but nothing really. You know, we have the Shopify ping, Shopify kit. Good stuff from Shopify. Um, wait, 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 wait. Shopify ping. I just saw that. Um, didn't Apple have the ping? The ping. It was the ping social <laughs> network. Okay. <laughs> that was big That's just ping. all I have to say about that. <laughs> it was big on ping. <laughs> <laughs> you know, before there was MySpace, there was ping, I think, or something like that. <laughs> uh, okay. Anything else, Dad? Uh, that's all I got today. All right. That's your commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. <laughs> That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy.